Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Turtles of Grey Skull figure Skeletor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at him in packaging. Then I'm going to take a look at the figure and his accessories. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on him. And just remember, if you do like this video, go ahead and check out my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles playlist. And my Masters of the Universe playlist. Plus hit that like, share, and subscribe. They're all small clicks for you, but it really helps this channel grow. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. Alright, so here he is in packaging. Uh, he has pretty much the standard uh, Turtles of Grayskull packaging. So he has Skeletor in the corner and he has Shredder in the other corner. That indicates that he's a bad guy. Alright, I mean he's Skeletor, you know, it's a pretty much given. But they just do that to indicate who's good and who's bad. You have the Skeletor name here. You got the green exploding rocks representing both Masters of the Universe and the Turtles. You get this nice open window so you can see the figure, Masters of the Universe logo, and the Turtles logo. Spin them around this way. All right, you get this really cool artwork. I really like that. That looks really neat. I like how they show his stuff glowing. I wonder if that's an actual play feature of the figure. Um, you have the Masters of the Universe logo, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. Includes comic book, a little bit about the figure some of his play features all right then you got the other figures part of this wave and you got your legal underneath so with all that being said let's open them up and see what he's about if you're going to be in the philadelphia area from september 7th and 8th then you got to check out retrocon 2024 at the philadelphia expo center they have lots of great tables and vendors selling all sorts of retro action figures and collectibles plus they have guests arcade games contests panels and much much more in honor of 40 years of transformers they will have a 40 year anniversary display stand that you could take pictures with special guests will be including anson williams who played potsy in happy days don moss who played Ralph from Happy Days and also played Eric from Dungeons and Dragons, the cartoon. Actor Lee Majors will also be there, best known for playing the $6 million man and the Fall Guy. He was also in Ash vs. the Evil Dead and The Night the Reindeer Died. So not only do they have the $6 million man, but they also have Lindsay Wagner, the bionic woman. Greetings, Starfighter! Lance Guest will also be appearing, best known as starring in the movie The Last Starfighter, and also appearing in both Halloween 2 and Jaws the Revenge. And right next to him will also be Catherine Mary Stewart, best known for The Last Starfighter, and also known for Night of the Comet and Weekend at Bernie's. Voice actor Michael Bell will also be there, known for being the voice of Duke, Prowl, and other iconic 80s characters. So next we have Townsend Coleman, best known for being the voice actor for the original Michelangelo, also The Tick, and in Transformers Animated. The tag team wrestling cessation, the Nasty Boys, will also be there. And after Retrocon, head on over to Arnold's where you can see the rock band Cybernetic Spree. Hurry up and get your tickets now because they sell out quick. So first off, we... We're going to look at the figure so he's a really cool looking figure i like the overall look to him i love all the detail to him i like you know the profile to this figure so let's start with the rotation okay so first off you got this side you got the back you have this side side and then you're back to the front now there's a lot of really cool detail to this figure so let's bring him up closer let's really look at him i love the head sculpt i like that he has this little ram up there i love how the detail is how they have this green here with the silver it really works he kind of has like this little spinal column here now normally i prefer a cloth cape but what they're trying to do is get dramatic effect with this so i can see why they would use a plastic cape i think in this scenario this actually works better because it kind of goes with his look i like this design in here 
I like this green on black. I think that looks really cool. You got the silver down here for his shin guards. So the overall look to this figure is really cool. I think the one missed opportunity they had with this figure that would have been really cool is if all this light green would glow in the dark. I think that would have been a really cool touch to this figure. It's just, unfortunately, it's just light green plastic. But I think if they would have took the extra time and made all this glow in the dark, I think it would have been, you know, a lot cooler. He's still a cool figure. I still like the overall look to him. I just think that would have been just an extra boost to this figure. So with that being said, let's start looking at his points of articulation. So the head does move. You got a shoulder joint, an elbow joint, and you have a wrist joint. Okay. Get this arm up here. You also have a torso joint. Okay. You have a thigh joint with a knee joint. You have a swivel at the top of the boot. And then last but not least, you have an ankle joint with him. All right, so all his points of articulation work very well with him. I don't have any issues with the figure. So now we're gonna look at his accessories. As you saw earlier, the arm guards do come off, all right, but they just clip right back on. No issues with that. Let me just get that back on there. Eventually, there it goes. All right, so as you see, that just clips back on. Now, I wonder, you pop the head off, you can also take the cape off. So now you can see all that cool detail under there as well. That looks really neat. I like the overall look to it. You also have a spot here where you can put something on him if you want to. So it's basically the same setup as the turtles. You could probably fit like the shell on there if you really wanted to, but... Even without the cloak, he still looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah. So if you get him looking like this without the cloak, that actually looks cool, too. So you could probably have him looking cool either way if you really think about it. Let's get him back onto the stand. Now, he comes with the standard comic book. All right. Which has some really nice art to it. I do like the overall look to this book. Okay. Okay. And then on the back, you have everybody that's part of this wave. He actually comes with a vial of mutagen, which is really cool. I do like the factor that he comes with that. So that's pretty neat. And he comes with these, like, I guess they're almost like nunchuck scythe version of his, you know, iconic, you know, uh, staff, Havoc staff. So this is kind of cool. I think it's a unique, you know imagination of the havoc staff it's a different look to it the chains are a little hard to move you know there's some ex a lot a little bit of excess in here if you look you can see a little bit of that in there so it's not as bad as the michelangelo figure the michelangelo figure they really did a really bad job in there and you know it looked horrible this one looks like it's a little bit better all right it works a little bit better i kind of like it a little bit better but you know, it's still a little hard to move, but it's definitely better than the Mikey one. So now let's see how well all this works with him. So let's start with the Havoc staff. All right. So that fits in his hand very well. No issues with it. All right. So he has two hands. So let's see if we could get this into both hands. So you got that one there. And that one as well so yes if you want them to hold it with both hands you can there are no issues with that all right and now for this boop. so that fits in his hand very well no issues with that so everything seems to fit pretty well with this figure I like the overall way that his accessories fit with him So overall, I really do like this figure. I think he's a great figure. I like the overall look to him. I like the detail to him. All his joints move very well. I don't have any issues with any of his joints. All his weapons fit very well on him. The same with his accessories, like his 
arm pieces, his cape and what have you. Probably my biggest issue with this figure is I don't know how I want to display him, whether I want him with the cape on or off, because I think he looks great either way. So this guy is a highly recommended figure. I think he would look great with either your Turtle collection or your Masters of the Universe collection. So with that being said, I hope you guys liked this review. If you did, go ahead and check out my Masters of the Universe playlist and my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle playlist. Plus hit that like, share, and subscribe. They're all small clicks for you, but it really helps the channel grow. So until the next one, late.